Hey, I'm Rachel and Gome. Today we're talking about five leadership books that you need to read this year. And so these are five of my favorite books that have helped me grow and develop as a leader in my business. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Like I said, I'm Rachel and Gome. I work with purpose-driven entrepreneurs to help them get more leads and sales into their business with Pinterest, blogging, online courses, email marketing, a lot of different things. And if you haven't yet subscribed, definitely do that. Um, we put out a new video every single week. So let's get to my top five favorite books. Book number one is The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell. So John Maxwell has like a million different books um, about leadership. I was lucky enough to get to see him and meet him and be mentored by him for an entire year. He is just incredible incredible and this one is just a classic and what i love about john is that he wrote this book and he actually went through and he did a complete revision 10 years later because he said over the past 10 years i've grown and i've learned and it was still the best-selling leadership book like in the world and he went back and he made it even better there's just some essential laws that you need to know in order to grow as a leader like the law of the lid and knowing that your potential is capped at your leadership and so if your leadership is only here and you want to get here, you're not going to because you're capping your potential if you're not working and growing on your leadership and your personal growth. So there's 21 different laws in there. I highly recommend you check that one out. The next book that I recommend is Lead Like Jesus by Ken Blanchard. And I'm going to share this quote with you. The more I read the Bible, the more evident it becomes that everything I have ever taught or written about effective leadership over the past 25 years, Jesus did to perfection. He is simply the greatest leadership role model of all time. And so that kind of sums up the entire book. It's looking at all the different leadership lessons of Jesus, obviously as him being the greatest leader. Ever. So I definitely recommend that as book number two. Book number three is Relentless by Tim Grover. And I honestly had like a love-hate relationship with this book, which is funny that I'm now recommending it because a lot of the things that he said in the book at, at some point as I was reading it, or I was actually listening to it, I've listened to it twice. I was like, but I don't 100% agree with you. And that's okay if you read or listen to something and you don't 100% agree with what they're saying. And in this case, it was in order to be a cleaner, you have to forget about your family and only go all in. And I was like, I don't agree with you on that point, but everything else is all, is really good. Um, and so the book is actually written by Tim Grover, who was the athletic trainer to Michael Jordan and the Bulls team. And kind of looking at those like athletes of how are they so successful? What makes them great? Are they, how do they become a cleaner? Which is like, they're the people that are relentless that go after what they're doing to get stuff done. And I've actually seen this book show up in my business, especially lately when I'm going through or like when I'm trying to accomplish a goal of not settling, of being like, well, we did this when our goal is really this and just say no, like that's not good enough. We have to be relentless and we need to keep going and we need to like go all in and really pursue this. And that's something that I always did with athletics and am applying into business. And this book has definitely helped me see how they're so connected athletics and business um, and to just to really inspire myself to make sure that I'm showing up and I'm being the most relentless version of myself that I can be. Book number four that I recommend you read this year is The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell. It's another John Maxwell book, but you need to read this one too. And this one, um, it's not like a leadership book per se, but it's dealing all about your own personal growth that you need to work through. And this is a book I've read a few different times. And every time I read it, I'm always taking new notes and I'm always sharing it with people. And if you've ever gone through our infinite growth challenge that we posted three times in the past, um, I share so much of the content that I get, that I share, I've learned from this book. Um, it's just essential reading and I highly recommend everyone, everyone reads it. And the fifth book that I recommend is actually John Maxwell and it's John Maxwell Leadership Bible. And so John, 
John Maxwell actually created a Bible and in the Bible just really showed the different lessons of leadership and how each character in the Bible has a different lesson of leadership. And he actually brings in, he like kind of combines the first book that I recommend, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, and shows how each of those laws is, he took it from the Bible. And I've heard John Maxwell say that every <laughs> everything that he teaches on leadership he got from the Bible. So why not go straight to the source? Um, but I just love his spin on the Bible and actually having it there, but diving in deeper, read this passage in Matthew, and then you get a little commentary of this is my example of when Jesus was using this specific law of leadership. So very, very cool. Highly recommend. Just to recap, let's go over the five books. I hope you're taking notes that you need to grab this year. So 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John Maxwell, Relentless by Tim Grover, Lead Like Jesus by Ken Blanchard, 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell and the John Maxwell Leadership Bible. So let me know in the comments if you've read any of these yet, and if not, which is gonna be the first one that you grab, because grab one today, take massive action, and pick one up. And if you haven't yet gone to our blog and grabbed our free Pinterest cheat sheet, I wanna show you how to get more leads and sales into your business. You can go to Pin with Rachel, or we'll just put it in the description right there for you. So have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video.